today with another story and it's one of my favourites. It is called Christopher Nibble. Now Christopher Nibble absolutely loves to eat dandelion leaves but something happens to them in this story. So if you come with me we'll go and find out exactly what. Christopher Nibble by Charlotte Middleton. Christopher Nibble loved more than football. It was eating dandelion leaves. He ate dandelion leaves at breakfast time, at lunch time and at dinner time. And if Christopher felt peckish between meals, he ate. Can you guess what? That's it. He ate more dandelion leaves. But it was not just Christopher who liked dandelion leaves. Mr and Mrs Nibble liked them too. His sister liked them, his friends liked them. In fact, every guinea pig in Dandyville loved dandelion leaves. All day long, the happy sound of munching and nibbling filled the air. Until, that is, dandelion leaves began to run out. <gasps> Dandelion dishes were taken off the menus and dandelion drinks disappeared from shelves. Oh no! The last few leaves could be bought on the internet for a huge amount of money. Soon the worst thing imaginable happened. All over town the dandelions had been munched to nothing more than bitten down stalks and the guinea pigs had to make do with chewy cabbage instead. <coughs> Just one dandelion was left but nobody knew about it except for Christopher Nibble. It happened to be growing right outside his bedroom window. Christopher's mouth watered at the sight of it, but he knew he mustn't eat it or let anyone else eat it. Not if it was the last dandelion in town. It might even be the last dandelion in the whole world. He thought hard, hmm, and he decided. He decided to go to the library. Quiet please, shh. He borrowed a book called Everything You Need to Know About Dandelions. Ooh. He found a little cloche to protect his dandelion, like a little glass jar. And every day he watered it and picked off the books. Every day he was very good about not taking even the tiniest little nibble while he waited and waited and waited. Oh, he's so patient. Until finally his dandelion had grown the most beautiful white head of tiny seeds. Very gently Christopher picked it and he carried it all the way up to Daisy Chain Hill and when he reached the top we had he had he had just enough puff to take a deep breath and oh, can you guess what he's going to do i wonder if we could do it all together he took a deep breath oh, and gave a great big blow and the seeds filled the air. Can you see them all? Wow! And they landed all over Dandyville. At first nobody noticed but soon the new plants started to sprout fresh leaves. <gasps> started to move. And in no time at all, Dandyville was filled with the happy sound of munching once more. Well, 
And as for Christopher, he still loves playing football. But now there's something he loves just as much as eating dandelions. Christopher loves growing them too. Enjoyed that story. I'll see you soon for the next one. Bye!